Okay, so now that we have our game engine open, let's get started. Uh, we will oh, first open a new project, so you can click here, open new project, and then we'll ask for a name. So what am I going to call this? Well, we're going to make a um, like a Legend of Zelda-like game. Have you guys ever played that? It's pretty much like well, the calculator version at least, you basically go around like an RPG game, go around chopping enemy. Anyway, I'm just going to call this uh, <laughs> Legend of Bilwa. Definitely a clone right here. Um, okay, so so you can choose the preset. Um, so 720p landscape is pretty good. Uh, and then click optimize for pixel art. And then click create. And this is our new project. So you can see we have the the project name uh, and all the different settings here. Okay, so this is the layout of Construct 3. Uh, a layout is pretty much like a level, okay? So we're in layout 1. Layout 1, you can see we have layout. Layout is our level. Event sheet is where we're going to program everything. Like choose, remember those like if then out statement that we went over earlier? Uh, we're going to do all those here to drive different events. This is the start. We don't need that. And then here it just advertisement. They want you to buy it. Don't worry about it now. Let's just go back to layout one. Um, okay, so you can see if you click on layout one, the size is this two five six zero by one four four zero. Um, and then the name, let's go this level one. Level one. And it is linked to event sheet one. This is event sheet one. Okay, so basically um, this level is being driven by this event sheet. So this area is our level, and you can see this like little gray dots here, right? This little box. This is our view port. So if you put something in there, you're only going to see what whatever is in here. So if we click the play button, see this this area. This area is basically what's in here. Okay. So, well, let's demonstrate, okay? So let's add an object. How do we do that? So we right click, insert new object, and here is where we're gonna put our objects in. So what we're gonna do first? Hmm. Okay, why don't we design the background first? Like, create a landscape. So we're gonna do that by uh, searching for, let's see, tile map. It's under general. Tile map. All you can just type here, tile map. It's a little bit easier. Um, and then just left click. Okay, so this is the tile map they start us with. So we could um, just click open here. And let's open up RPG Nature tile set. Okay, there you go. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, sprite editor. Like a, it's kind of like paint. You can draw in there, but. We're just gonna use. We're not gonna draw now. Uh, Taylor's gonna go over that with you next time. So let's just use this. Okay. Exit here. And then we need to set what's the size of each tile. Um, so you can see each tile is 32 by 32. And right now we got perfect. So 32 by 32. You can see on this side that uh, every box is on each like section of the sprite. So let's say like we make this like 64 by 64. What's gonna happen? Oh, you can see it's a lot bigger, but that's too big, right? We only want a little corner. Um, here, you can see it's not really lining up correctly. That's because our tile is 32 by 32. So let's just type in 32 by 32. Sometimes you just have to play around with the size until you get it right. Uh, but usually when people design tile map, um, it's usually in a um, what, how you call this? It's either 2, 4, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. Uh, power 2 numbers. So 32 by 32 is okay. So you can click on this button, draw a tile. Click here. Oh, well, okay, let's, let's, why don't we put an ocean around first? Click here. And then you can just draw different tiles in like this. And to prove to you that, uh, <laughs> yeah, to prove to you that this is the real port. Uh, let's click play. You can see, we only see this pattern, which is like inside this box. Okay, so now let's 
uh, fill in everything here. We we don't want this. Let's so you can click here, this fill bucket, and we can fill the entire area with this tile. Okay, now let's draw some land. We're gonna do two tile map by the way. Uh, one is the background, like the on the bottom. Uh, it's just like the terrain you can walk on. That other one we're going to put trees and stuff like that, uh, stuff that would block your movement. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Just draw something right now. Uh, so you can hold down control and scroll with your mouse wheel to zoom in. Okay, so why don't we draw a uh, little... Oh, okay. See, I messed up there. You need to switch back to this draw tile pen, uh, tools. So control Z, undo. Uh, click here. Okay. So so let's draw a little island here for now. So after you draw like a basic shape, you can always fill it in like this. Uh, maybe we'll have some sand as well, like a beach or something. Okay, anyway, uh, feel free to uh, spend more time doing this, but for now I'm just going to do a very rough one because you don't want to look at me doing this all day, right? <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah, so just pick different one, whatever one, whichever one looks better. Okay, so now we have two different area. Um, okay, so I'm just going to change the name of this. How do we do that? You click on this, you can do right click, rename, or you can just click F2 to rename. So I'm just going to call this uh, tile map base. So I know that it's just a base layer. Okay. So that now we have this, let's save the file. This is very important. Uh, if you don't save and you your computer crash or something, you will lose everything. So you go manual. Uh, project save as uh, save as a single file and then you can go to the you know the NASA game design folder and just say this is legend of the law this is my game's name all right okay so now that whenever you make an edit if you wanted to um, save you can just do control s and that will save it okay so click play preview all right cool Okay, so now on the next video, we are going to add our character. So I'll see you there.